Uh huh. Yeah, yeah. Most definitely. Most definitely. It's the bad bad C. Let's get. Yeah, yeah. So, you know, I'm back with a no vengeance. You know, I'm going hard this week. Yeah, yeah. I'm back with a vengeance. Yeah, yeah. So, you know, similar to the Ice Spice effect, I'm seeing everybody seeing that boy Drizzy Drake Rogers is, you know, on a downward trajectory. Yo, and it got me in complexity. Like, it's just saying he ain't on the chart this week, you know, first time in two, three years, you know. That's nasty work, especially coming off of the box, you know, that last feature, you know, he did, you know, Ben Salsa joint, right? Like, the song was big, both dig up vibes, you know, you get in there and start dancing and holding your belly, you know. Like, Pops did it, you know, Friday when he had to, you know, use the bathroom after that, you know, hot sauce on my burritos on the RP of Pops. Speaking of the Friday movie, it came out on a Friday. And like Michael Blackson said, and next Friday, I cannot get jiggy with that. I ain't gonna hold you. This all, you know, revert back and constitutionalizes what Kendrick been saying, you know. This is basically everybody letting, you know, everybody know. They Jack and Kendrick the savior. They don't want to hear no Drake no more, you know. He overstayed his welcome, you know. He overstayed his welcome on that business. All of a sudden, people want to hear real hip-hop and, you know. And now, you know, it's the hate Drake wave. Nobody not attacking it. You know, that no song I definitely ain't jacking it, you know. They got him on, you know, front of Apple Music. I might have to make another bit about that falling off or not. Right now, I ain't saying he's falling off. He's still filthy right. He's still got a lot of plaques and legacy. But keep it a hundred. Is he going to run the next 10 years of music? I don't know how to go right or good enough to pull that off. I think people tired of it. We've seen all every action and every flow. I feel like the last joint, this new joint he made with the Spanish record song joint, the last straw is right. Uh huh. Yeah, yeah, most definitely. Most definitely. It's the bad, bad seat. Let's get here. Right. So, you know, we go get it to you, though. Go out. Burr. Gucci, man. He dropped everybody. <laughs> everybody from the label. He basically saying it's a dub. It's clear. It's a rap. Wrap it up. You know it. El Rappi though, it's over, you know, and I'm going to say this, yo, I got music, yo, cut that million dollar check, now for real, I got music, you know, I mean, I'll sign, I'll sign, see what's the word, you know, while I try to land you know, a couple of Georgia pages and things of that nature, where he dropped everybody, basically saying, yo, he ain't jacking none of the artists, you know, some of them, you know, probably stay, sound like Shicey and somebody else, but, you know, he basically saying, music a dub, hip hop a dub, you know, and everybody drop, you know, like I said, message to go out, you know, it's C. Lansky, you know, highs from New York, that's right about a lot, things like that, you know, respectfully, you know, top end, you know, got that million dollar check, most definitely, why well, I sign that, because, you know, ain't no rapper better than me, ain't no rapper better than me, you know, and I'm the only rapper that probably got as much big taste as you and Wayne, most definitely, so top end, dog, but, you know, all the other rappers, I don't know what to say, you know, don't hate the player, hate the game.